Alright, uh, welcome everyone to this uh, quick tutorial on how to get a good uh, bass guitar tone for uh, metal. Um, I'm going to talk you through three really easy steps uh, to go from a crappy sounding bass to a decent sounding bass. Now, as with anything else within the audio production, there's a ton of different ways to do things. Um, people prefer different ways, different approaches, different techniques. Um, this is just uh, a quick way to get a good and uh, decent result without uh, needing to know too much about it, basically. Um, so, um, this is uh, one of my older original songs in uh, Reaper. Um, everything is recorded. We got the lead guitars, we got the rhythm guitars, we got the bass guitar and the drums. And uh, in this project, everything has been mixed except for the bass guitars. So let's have a listen to how it sounds like right now. So it sounds pretty decent, uh, but there's not a lot of bass involved. Uh, so what I like to do when checking out the bass is to play only the bass and the drums solo. So let's solo the bass and the drum track, let's hear. And I'll do the bass. So as you might hear, this bass guitar has been recorded directly into the audio interface. There's uh, simply just a cable go from the bass to the interface. There's no amps, no microphones, no nothing. Um, and this is the simplest way to record bass. Uh, some people prefer to use uh, bass guitar amps and stuff. But this is, uh, this is a lot simpler and quicker, and it can get you just as good results. Um, so, the first thing we want to do to this bass guitar is even out the, the levels. Because right now there's a lot of, you can hear like the clicks in the, in the playing, and yeah, the volume isn't really even. So the simplest way to do this is to use a limiter. Um, and I'll put the link in the description to where you can download this limiter. It's called a W1. It's just basically a copy of uh, some fancy Waves plugin or something. Um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to hit play and adjust the threshold to where it sounds more even and then adjust the ceiling to get the correct volume. So let's hear. As you can hear, this is um, just a way to even out the volume, and the more I adjust the threshold down, the more even it gets, and the more noise gets picked up. So there is a compromise there. You have to even it out, but not too much, and you can compensate by lowering the ceiling so it doesn't get too loud. So let's do it with uh, the drums to get some context. we're happy with that and um, the second step is to just add an equalizer and I'm just going to use the um, built-in equalizer re-EQ and this one is also very simple you're just going to find the uh, 350 you can well, write 350 if you want to or if you want to drag this that's absolutely fine um, just drag it all the way down and uh, as I said, we're just going to keep this really simple, we're not going to play around too much with it because we just want a good, decent result. And right now we're cutting these, uh, these low mids and they clean up a lot of the mess and make room for the guitars in the mix. So let's hear what it sounds like now. I can just hit play and then drag it down. just the bass guitar. Uh, 
And there's also a lot of high end that we don't want. Um, we don't really want the bass guitar to be up in the highest frequencies because that's just a bunch of noise and uh, it doesn't need to take up any space there, at least not in this mix. So then we're just going to click and drag this fourth band all the way down and then until it hits about 4000 hertz. That's three, th three, five, four thousand. Let's see. But we still want to keep some of that uh, clicking, grinding sound because it it makes, uh, especially along with distorted guitars, it makes it sound a bit more gritty and and good. So let's hear it now with the, the drums. hear that there are some glitches in the sound right now that's obviously not supposed to happen but just uh, hang in there um, so yeah the, um, then we have our third step uh, which is to add some distortion or saturation uh, there's a lot of ways to do this I usually use a more complicated ray uh, which I can always cover in another tutorial but this is uh, one of the simplest ways to, to get a mild distorted bass um, we're going to go back to listening only to the bass and we're going to add uh, what's called the fee rocks and I'll put a link in the description to download this as well um, it's basically just one of these tape simulator machines uh, which uh, allow you to get some old school sounding distortion and um, let's get this out of the way um, what we're going to do here is we're going to put this recording level to zero and then you can basically just play around with everything of course but make sure the low cutoff is down to 30 so it doesn't cut out your uh, bass and um, you have to watch this recording level because it can get really clipping and uh, in, a, in a really ugly way but now we're gonna I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna play with the saturation and feedback and hysteresis or whatever it's called and perhaps also the recording level if you lower this and increase this you can get some interesting results so let's uh, have a go So as you can hear, there's there's not a whole lot of difference, but it gets uh, a bit more gritty and uh, a bit more distorted. And sometimes that's exactly what you want. And of course, if you want to increase this effect, you can always copy and paste that plugin, and you'll uh, get twice the twice the distortion. But we're not going to do that right now. Um, and then we're going to have a listen with the, the drums. And let's hear it with the rest. And now it's important to adjust the level to get it uh, to sit correctly within the mix. And I'm gonna say that I'm quite happy with that. So that was uh, how to get a good uh, bass, metal bass tone in uh, three easy steps. Uh, as I said, I'll post the link in the description on how to download these uh, these VST plugins. They're all free and they're really, really good. 
and um, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel um, I'll be posting more tutorials and of course more backing tracks and everything and uh, I hope to see you soon and uh, thanks for watching this video good luck with your mixing I'll see ya, bye